went long, which means I pulled the approach. This is going to be a run where we test the joystick commands to make sure we've got everything mapped in case something goes wrong with track IR while we're in the air. This is going to be part of the comparison video with DCS. Oh, I don't like that. going to go up and bomb a tiger tank which uh, hold on should have SCSI in it everything goes right here that should be global weapon select secondary do the same thing for mode 3 I needed to zoom in one direction, and that ain't the direction, so. There we go. Need that one to be the same way. Let's go bomb us a tiger tank. We could just stay here at this field and bomb one, but, you know, got to get the altitude anyway. And I got to get rid of that happy face. I don't like that sight. I'm carrying 75% fuel here. Would climb a little bit quicker with 25%. Never read any stories about anybody saying 
Hey, crew chief, don't put any fuel in that tank there. We only need, you know, wing tanks, maybe. About halfway there. And we'll be fine. I don't think that ever happened. But I wasn't there. Objective is at 100 feet, 100 meters, 300 feet, whatever. <clears throat> so we're going to go in about 7,300, 7,500, and that'll be our approach altitude. Not approach for landing, approach for attack. Offset here, level off. Set our salvo to one. Look, there's tanks on the map. <laughs> now this 
approach here to uh, attack is a little bit easier managed when you have track IR because the point, the whole point is to be looking down here at the wing route. And it's not really a wise approach to be, uh, well, to have your controls, you keep your hands on the controls of the keyboard and not the joystick. Without track IR, that's, that's, that's how you do it. Anyway, um, our Tiger tank should be down here at this end of the field. Uh, right off the end of the runway there. I think I can see it, so I'm gonna, gonna make my approach from here. Power is off. And we're in. If I uh, don't get lined up on the tank, I will wave off. But it looks like I've got a good line here. Bomb went long, which means I pulled the approach and do it right. Going to be coming in slightly lower this time. Obviously, you can't regain all that altitude you lost when the power was off. But we're going to make up for it by making a steeper approach. Hopefully, this time we'll hit our target. Goodbye, Mr. Tiger. Alright, now we're home to land and rearm if we want to. Anyway, it seems to me that the views are working properly. Bomb release worked. Weapon select worked. I think we're good. So we can move on to track IR now. And you know I will.
It's looking pretty good. There could be even more trees on this map. I guess the point of the trees basically is to keep the fight near the town and all. Uh, allow people to make an obscure approach. But... From the air, it doesn't really look all that dense. I, I can see what I think are tanks down there, but I know they're not. Oh, wheelbarrows, probably. I would never land and be this slow, this this far out online. Unless it was very obvious there wasn't any enemies around. Yes, that, that kind of steep approach right there would make it really hard to get stopped. But you know, I gotta, I gotta try until I can do it. Anyway, next time it'll be track IR, and uh, we'll do the same thing, and then we're going to do DCS. I'm trying to keep the uh, upload small right now, so that uh, so that I can get the upload speed moving again, uh, the number and frequency of my videos. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to have a Photoshop uh, video next, uh, following the uh, track IR thing, also. To, uh, to help people make the uh, cursor images for Aces I-3. All right, uh, we'll catch you next time. Y'all give us a like, subscribe, come back and see us. Adios.